In this video, we are going over the cranial nerves of the brain. There are 12 of them. We're going to talk about what their cranial nerve number is, their name, their origination site, if it is in the brain, and their, um, the foramen they may take to exit or enter the brain. So we're going to go ahead and split up this brain half right here. And just so you know, what is on one side of the brain is also going to be mirrored on the other when it comes to cranial nerves. So we're going to go ahead and start with number one. And this is going to be the termination site for number one. So the, um, the name of the first nerve is going to be the olfactory nerve, number one. And its origination site is not in the brain. It is actually going to be um, in the olfactory mucosa. So no brain origination. Um, the olfactory nerve is going to actually enter or an exit through the olfactory foramina in the crimform plate. So our second nerve is going to be this optic nerve right here. Again, this one is also one of those sensory, um, sensory nerves, so it's going to actually originate in the retina of the eye. Our third one, oh, by the way, and just so you know, it exits through the um, optic foramen in the sphenoid bone. And so this one right here is number three, and number three is the ocular motor nerve. It originates from the midbrain, and so remember, the midbrain is going to include this structure right here, this region. Um, and it exits, so to leave, this one actually goes through the superior orbital fissure. Again, that's in the sphenoid bone. We're going to go to number four. We're going to rotate this brain a little bit so we can see it here. And it's this one right here. And remember, these are in Roman numerals. So this is going to be cranial nerve four. This is the trochlear nerve. It originates in the midbrain. Um, and it also exits through the superior orbital fissure. We're going to go to number five. So we're going to rotate this even more. And this is going to be optic, oh, I heard. this is nerve number five. This is actually the trigeminal nerve. It's going to have three branches, though. And these three branches are going to go into different places in the body. Um, so the first one is the ophthalmic branch. This exits through the superior orbital fissure. Uh, next is going to be the maxillary branch. This exits out through the foramen rotundum. And then the mandibular branch. Um, and this is going to go out through the foramen ovale. And it originates here in the pons. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go to number six. Now we're going to go down here to number six. And number six is going to be the abducens nerve. And it originates as well in the pons. You can kind of tell by where it's located here on the brain itself. Um, and it also exits through the superior orbital fissure. Uh, a great way to memorize this, I would say, would be just to draw a skull half and draw the nerves coming out of it. That might help. Um, and number seven, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump here to number seven. So six, seven, number seven is going to be the facial nerve. It also originates in the pons and it exits out through the styloid mastoid foramen. So styloid mastoid foramen. And we'll show you all these on the skull in a little bit. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump to number eight. And number eight is right here. And oh, let me make sure I'm not pointing that, covering that with my pointer. Number eight is the vestibular cochlear nerve. Now, this one does not originate, right? It's one of those sensory ones. This one's actually going to be um, originating from the semicircular ducts, the vestibule, vestibule, pardon me. Um, and it is going to exit out through the internal auditory canal. Uh, you may have heard the internal auditory meatus, um, its other name. So we're going to go ahead and go from number eight to number nine. And to go to number nine, we're going to go ahead and jump down through here. And if you know, number nine is going to be the glossopharyngeal. And it's originating from the medulla oblongata. Remember, this region right here is the medulla. So number nine is going to be the glossopharyngeal. Origination is going to be medulla oblongata. And its exit is going to be the jugular foramen. Next, we're jumping down to number 10. Number 10 is the vagus nerve. Pretty famous one. It also originates medulla oblongata. And it is going to be coming through, again, jugular foramen. Next, we're going to have number 11, and we're going to go jump down here to number 11. Number 11 is the um, accessory nerve. It also, medulla oblongata, origination site, and it goes through the jugular foramen as well. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and jump to number 12. And this is number 12 right here. And number 12 is hypoglossal. It originates in the medulla oblongata. And um, lastly, and... Like its name, this one exits through the hypoglossal canal. Okay, let's go ahead and jump to the skull. Okay, so the skull. So we learned that this, this letter A is on this crib form plate where all these little dots are. And again, those are going to be the olfactory foramina, right? Foramina, plural. So there's going to be many little nerve um, extensions going through here. So 
Next, we're going to have the optic foramen. And so remember, we're in the sphenoid bone now. And so this was ethmoid, cribriform plate, olfactory foramina. This is going to be the sphenoid's optic foramen, so that hole that's exiting out through here to the retina of the eye. Next, we're going to have the superior orbital fissure. Oop, and that's kind of hard to see. The superior orbital fissure is just going to be this groove right through here. And just so we know, so what goes through the superior orbital fissure? We're going to have nerve 3, ocular motor, nerve 4, the trochlear, as well as nerve 6, which is abducens. So keep that in mind. So the next one is going to be um, nerve 5, trigeminal. So we've got quite a few coming through here, right? We have the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal. Make sure that's on there. Um, we're going to have the um, maxillary, so that's going to again go through foramen rotundum, this one right here under the um, superior orbital fissure. And again, we're still with the sphenoid, right? And then we're going to have the mandibular, which is that third branch of the trigeminal nerve, and that's going to go through the foramen ovale. So remember that Ross, foramen rotundum, foramen ovale, foramen spinosum. So we're going to have the third branch, the mandibular branch, going through the foramen ovale right here. Next, we're going to have, um, so again, we talked about the abducens, which is number six. That's going through here, superior orbital fissure. Next, we're going to have number seven, which is the facial. So we're going to go ahead and go to the bottom of the skull, right? Because we want to show you where the styloid mastoid foramen is going to be. And the styloid mastoid foramen is going to be this little hole right here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and flip back to the inside. So that was going to be pardon me, number seven, facial. So we're going to go ahead and go back for number eight. And number eight is going to be the um, <clears throat> vestibular cochlear nerve. And so for the vestibular cochlear to exit out to the semiducular ducts in the vestibule, we're going to go through here. And this is, remember, the internal auditory uh, um, canal or meatus. Um, next, we're going to go to number nine, which we said was glossal pharyngeal. And that's going to go through the jugular. So the jugular is the structure right through here. Again, we're also going to have nerve 10, which is the vagus. We're going to have nerve 11, which is the accessory. Um, and lastly, we're going to have the number 12, which is going to be the hypoglossal nerve. But guess what? It's going through these tiny little hypoglossal canals, which are hiding here in the occipital condyles.